Hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today I've got a B nail design for you. Now I've done one already so I will pop that up above for you to have a look at. In that one I used inks and I used stamping. I love yellow, it's an absolute beautiful vibrant colour, always makes you feel better when it's dreary, dark and raining. I live in the UK so we do get a lot of that. So I wanted to do a beautiful yellow design and I have a lovely gold charm that I wanted to use. So this design is actually based around that. I didn't want to use the same products so I thought I could flip it and do something completely different. So we've gone for 3D and we've gone for hand painting. Now we're using all CJP um, colours today and the first one here is a Amore which is a beautiful baby pink and I'm doing that at the cuticle area and just at the tip and I'm leaving a panel in a diagonal across that tip in which to put the next shade which will be Soft Lemon. I'm coming here and I'm just making sure that that shade of pink is nice and opaque. So I keep going in with small beads, fading it in at the bottom and then just tapping it in and keeping that shape. Let that set up. And then I'm coming in with this soft lemon from CJP. Fade out both the edges pat that into place before leaving that to set. Next we're coming in with soft lemon again and I believe, I can't remember but I think I did a full nail of soft lemon here. It was setting up quite quickly because the heating's on, it's uh, cold, wet and miserable. We've got Storm Dennis here at the minute that's interfering with everything. High winds, thrashing against your window panes at stupid o'clock in the morning when you're supposed to be sleeping and keeping us awake. So uh, so we've wiped the heating up to keep us nice and warm, but unfortunately, you know, the acrylics don't like that, do they? So it's setting up quite quickly. So it was a case of Tracy get a little movie on. So here I am coming in with that soft lemon building up that colour a bit at a time. This is all in real time. So I fade that back, pull it down and keep those sides in. So I pat it and swipe, trying to keep the shape of that nail as much as possible. And then I'm coming in with Millionaire, which is a gold glitter. I will list everything below as usual this has got some beautiful big hexes in that I thought of honeycombs so I'm just going to do that in a diagonal across this nail we're coming in with some nail art later and doing some gel paints on this now leaving that set I'm then coming in with these stickers and it's got little gold honeycombs on and it's also got bees on now in the true tray fashion, I didn't know quite what I was doing and I kept changing my mind because initially I was going to put the honeycombs on the little finger the way I have and then put the charm on here, actually on the little hexes, um, but I changed my mind and I wasn't going to use one of the bee stickers but I changed my mind. Uh, yeah, so just go with the flow, just wing it guys, that's what I do. So here I am just quickly capping this nail with this sticker in. I'm not too worried about if it overflows slightly. I'll encapsulate it in clear and then file. I'm just going to make sure I've got my strength and structure in that nail once I cap that. 
then that will be this finished until later. I don't need to worry about it. I can park it for the minute. Moving on with the design, we're then going to come in with Parrot something. It's a beautiful yellow from CJP. I can't remember the name of it. Parrot Feathers? Is that what it's called? I will find out and put it below. Because I'm rubbish. So I do apologise, guys. I'm sure it's like Parrot Feathers or something. It's, um, it's beautiful yellow. It's a shade darker, a bit more vibrant than the soft yellow. So I'm going to put that at the tip. So I'll put it on, fade it back, bring it up. You've seen me do this loads and loads and loads of times. And then I'm also going to use it on the cuticle area of the pointer. So while I've got it out, I'm just going to do that and leave the ombre to set up. And I'll come back to that in a memento. So I'm just going to tuck that in around the cuticle, swipe it down. how pigmented that shade is you don't need a lot guys a little goes a long way here so once I'm happy with that I'm then going to come in with the lightest color and the darkest color for a little marble at the cuticle area on this one so I've gone for snow white and this parrot feathers and just fade it down and then I'm going to come in with the beads. I'm sorry if you can hear my little puppy here snoring her head off. She's curled up next to me, warm as toast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> snoring. <laughs> so I do apologise. Uh, that's a moor. So I've come in with a moor there and soft lemon. And I'm going to swipe it up, down, up. out a little bit and then I come in with the same colours again snow white a more soft lemon and get a beautiful marble going there on the bottom half of this nail As you can see again I'm working in a slight diagonal, I do think this is more elongating of the fingers, I do think it's more attractive and it does seem to be the way I tend to work, whether it's with marbles, glitters, colour blocks even, you know, um, it's a preference that I have. Anyway, once I'm happy with that I'm then going to come in with these little holographic gold shards. Now I've been searching everywhere for these everywhere because i'm running out and i use them all the time i think i found them guys i've ordered them we'll wait and see if they come and we'll open it together and have a look and they've got little different colors as well they're calling it mylar but it's not mylar and it does say that it's like a sheet of mylar cut into different um sizes if you like like shards oh I've ordered a couple, a couple of shades, and like I said, we'll open it together and we'll have a look. So, for now, back to the design. I'm going to put a few of these shards along this nail where that marble meets the solid colour. I'll just put a few on there. Once I'm happy with that and finish faffing around, I'm then going to come back to the soft lemon on this pointer finger. I'll blend that back. This is going to be a beautiful ombre between those two yellow shades. Then I'm going to come in with some of that Millionaire Glitter, which has got the big hexes in, just a few, not a lot. And then a couple of those holographic Mylar shard pieces, whatever they are, that's too big, take it off. I want a nice subtle 
because I want the gold pieces to come through underneath the 3D nail art. At this point, I didn't know what I was going to put on top of it. That came later, when I started scrolling through Pinterest. I didn't know if I could do it or not, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know if I was uh, aiming a little bit too high. But we can go into that in a minute. I can't shy away from these things. It is something I want to learn to do. It is something I'm going to practice. And I'm going to do it with you guys. So that's it. I took the challenge and I hit it head on. You can let me know what you think. But for now, because we're running away with ourselves, I put a few of those gold shards on top of those hexes. And then come in with a small, teeny tiny bead of clear, clear acrylic to make sure they don't move when I clear cap it. I am then going to clear cap all of these nails, file and buff them, and then it's time for the 3D art. So I am still using CJP acrylic. And I'm going to come in with this brown. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll do show you in a minute. So what, this is going to be the centre of the sunflower. So I've put a, a bead on and I'm manipulating that into the shape that I want it. Make sure that it's flat on that side. And then I'm poking it with the tip of my brush to stipulate the actual surface so it's not smooth. Then for the leaves of this flower, I'm coming in with Pineapple, Fizz and Sunny Days. I have double dipped it so that we can get the various darker and lighter shades of ye yellowy orange. So I'm making sure that the bottom of this petal is nice and round and it comes up into a point. And I use the tip of my brush to mark that acrylic to get that petal shape. And then I tuck it in at the sides. So I use the belly of my brush at the bottom and then the tip of my brush to do the rest of the work. Now I was very brave and I thought I'd put two beads on. I've recently done a, another video, I think it was yesterday, and I put two beads together and, oh, so I've learnt from that. So yes, put two beads on, but don't put them together. That's right, I'm learning guys, learning. So again, I'm going to do the same with this, manipulate that bead. And once I'm happy, I'm then going to put on another two beads, again, away from each other. This way, what I'm finding is that by the time one of them's gone matte so that I can work on it, the other one's going matte. I'm using the one monomer here, so it's nice and easy for me to play with. Gives me a little bit of time to manipulate that acrylic. It's not going hard on me before I'm ready for it to. It's, it's absolutely great. So I'm doing these petal shapes and I keep doing that all the way round until I complete this sunflower. So these are the shades that I used for that sunflower and then I'm going to get a B from this sticker that we used earlier and I'm going to put that on the middle finger. I'm chuffed as punch with that sunflower. What do you think guys? Comment below and let me know. And if you've got any hints and tips on uh, how I can improve please let me know. But yeah for a first go. I'm well chuffed with that. 
after yesterday's disaster when the beads were too close together it was a bit of a pain really but uh right okay so moving on to the honey we have yellow nail chemi paint and i'm going to do drips of honey on this ring finger so i'm going to do a nice blob that's right technical term blob of paint on this nail and I want it to show like the thickness of the honey because that's what would happen if it was dripping down it would look really thick so that's what I'm going for and the stringiness as it falls from the main clump of honey and drips down so yes it'd be very round at the bottom but it would string up wouldn't it so that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to 3D this drip. Once I'm happy with that, I'll come in and flash cure it with my little LED torch. I always do this when I'm hand painting. I'll do a little bit, I'll flash cure it. That way, if I do continue and I make a mistake, it's not an issue to wipe it away with a little bit of gel cleanse on a lint-free wipe. If... I hadn't done that because, like I said, I the can't get my words out. I have been working on my hand painting. I've been doing that for the last 12 months now since my channel started. It's almost three months now since I've had my channel. So I've got a surprise for you guys coming up soon. But anyway, not to let the cat out of the bag. Um, I've been working on this. So I found that by flash curing in between... If I made a mistake at any point after that, I wouldn't ruin what I'd already done. There's nothing worse than being really pleased with something and then having to take it off because the next step didn't go according to plan. So I'm going to do a couple at the bottom as though it's just left the drip. And then what I will do is fill in the top before giving that a full cure in the lamp just gonna let you watch for the minute After a full cure in the lamp, I'm then going to come in with some Stick It Ugly Duckling Jewelry Gel for that beautiful bee charm that I have in that tray. I'm going to put it approximately where I want it landing on that honey drip. Then what I'm going to do is come in and top coat all these nails. It's time to shine let those nails all come to life those beautiful glitters the holographic that's in those stickers are amazing i am so chuffed with these nails guys i really do hope you've enjoyed this video today it is coming to an end oh look at me I, honestly i keep forgetting to top coat under the 3d guys so here I am going round it with a detailer brush to get those top coat in between those petals on that beautiful sunflower. I am chuffed as punch with that and I'm so glad that I had a go. If any of you do have a go at any 3D work, I'm on Insta, all my links are below. Please tag me in, I would love to see your work. If you've got any hints and tips, pop them below. We're all here to help each other. Guys, I'm going to go now. 
I'm going to let you finish watching this. All I'm going to do is add the charm, put it in the lamp for a full cure, and then that's the end of the video. If you've enjoyed this video today, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching. And until next time.